I will not let you die down there. Welcome everyone, Vintendo back with some more Legacy of the Void. Alright, so recently we just picked up a Taldoreen who, from my understanding, understands that Amon C is, is destined to betray him and his clan. If you heed my words, your higher arc will live. Ooh, I got an achievement! Entaro Artanis. Your higher arc is apparently unaware of the danger closing in around him. If you desire his safe return, you will send your warriors to these coordinates now. Okay. Um, complete. Destroy 15 units with Sionic Storms. Um, complete the Harbinger Oblivion mission before Kerrigan loses more than three hives. Okay, Kerrigan's going to be joining us as well. Cool. This path will lead your forces to Artanis. I have done as I promised, Dark Templar. Now go tell your Hierarch. I am waiting for you. Matriarch, our High Templar have volunteered to aid you. The loss of the Kala was not easily borne. But we are ready to serve once again. Templar, I thank you for your bravery in this dire time. We will recover our Hierarch. All right. Okay, I thought I was building a base, but okay. Our power shall serve. Okay, so what is Sionic Storm's team? Okay, good. Unleash Sionic Storms, brothers. Let these hybrid thralls feel the wrath of the Templar. No wait, I see crystals. We are building a base. Maybe. Oh, maybe it's just Kerrigan's base. of Amon's power and buy you time. But it's up to you to seal that portal. The gateway draws power from these void crystals. We will need to destroy them if we are to seal the gate. Then it shall be done. Nope, we are building a base. Okay. Bloody hell, man. She's already got, like, Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> she can't lose more than three hives, I think. So I've got to get these things destroyed as fast as possible. The darkness is approaching my hive cluster, Artanis. I hope you're getting ready to disable those crystals. I'll continue sending as many Zerg as I can spare to help you. Fight well, Templar. For our tennis.
Crystal's defenders have fallen. Move in and destroy it. Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd do that, but like I, I have absolutely no units to do that shit. Solarite from the Spear of a Dune's core. Okay, yeah, so everything I did for the Zerg, it's transferred over, because, man, I gave the Zerg the ability to jump. It was cool. <laughs> Three more? Oh, right, yeah. That is really helpful. She's already lost already, like... Okay, let's get a robotics bay up and get our own immortals going. Minions, move out. Eviscerate any fool who stands in your way.
two crystals destroyed. I suspect Amon's forces will not let us take the next two so easily. Hybrid are moving to attack our nexus point. Ready our defenses. Are clear. Our power shall serve. Give us your command. Oh my gosh, is it back way into my base? Oh crap. We stand. We've secured a Zelnaga vessel, Karax. Prepare for transfer. Unbelievable. Despite eons of inactivity, these devices are still at full power. Okay, Karagun's down to three bases. I better... Vamoose. Oh, crap. That mass recall was freaking good. I look forward to when I can finally frickin' make Colossus. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Zer Kerrigan's Oh god. The crystal is free of defenders. Our warriors can destroy it whenever you are ready. She herself is on her way to attack it. No 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 no, don't focus that. Focus this thing and kill it. Destroy the final crystal and do so with haste. Hybrid inbound on our nexus point. Warriors, intercept them. You call upon me, Eraj Kulia. We will turn. We stand. Regenerate my forces.
Oh, probe. Before you die, play something there for me. Oh crap, we're getting attacked from all sides. Working on it. Okay, victory is ours! Yes! High five! Picking up a lot of guys off. Okay, yep. Yeah. Let's uh, continue and have a look at what else we have in store. What's in store for us? survival, Alarak. What is the true reason you've come to me? Our god broke his ancient covenant and cast us low. These are lies, Artanis. I am the liar. Are you not but a lie incarnate machine? Prokoth. Speak your peace, Alarak. The Talgarim's death fleet amasses its slain. Awaiting the start of a full-scale invasion, I come with an offer. You will aid me in invoking a challenge for the right to rule my kind as High Lord. And in return, 
I will grant you a cessation of hostilities between our people. Phoenix, rally my advisors. It appears we have much to discuss. Hmm. We do have much to discuss. Ah, Artanis. I believe I will serve you more effectively from here. Besides, I would rather Alarak remain where he can be watched. Nothing was as it seemed. We came to Olmar to awaken the Zelnaga and receive their aid. Instead, Amon nearly killed us. I fear Zeratul's prophecy is no longer clear to me. He was closer to the truth than I thought. The Zelnaga did rest here. Had they lived, I think they would have given us their aid, just as Zeratul said. If nothing else, I will grant him that. Matriarch, your words surprise me. Mm. Perhaps your counsel has proved influential in some regards. Then I will endeavor to give you more of it. I said some regards, Hierarch. Not all. <laughs> okay, Rohana. Rohana, do you not see why you must sever your nerve cords? I cannot allow you to fall under Amon's sway again. The collar was created in our darkest moment. Only its light was able to bind our people to give us unity. We are born into it, and when we die, our spirits become one with it. It is worth fighting for. And now Amon uses it against us. It sustains his existence. Its time must end. Artanis, through the Kala, our every thought and emotion are made as one. I feel his thoughts and emotions swirling like a vortex throughout. He does not realize it, but here, within the Kala, he is vulnerable. How? Just as he can see into me, I can see into him. We can use this to our advantage, Hierarch. I know it. It is not worth it. Please, I only ask for time. Hmm. Powerful psionic warriors have joined our ranks, Hierarch. You must choose among them. Okay, so High Templar. Sorry, Dick. Oh, tom, 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 pa, pa, blah, whatever. Oh, the Dark Archon! Oh, I haven't seen these guys since Brutal War. Or even the first one. Ooh, let's run the Dark Archons. Uh, I might go back to the Phoenix, actually. Vanguards have joined our cause. It seems our surprises have no end. Alarak's warriors have joined our forces. These Taldarine are quite unlike anything I have seen before. Oh, Bloodhunter, voice stasis. Where does my prey hide? Oh, they disable. Oh, I like my Avenger. Carax has utilized data from Glacius to bring the robotic sentinels online. Use them wisely, Hierarch. The enemy shall be purified. Oh, sentinels. Into battle, and your gun is revived after taking fatal damage. Oh, right, because they're robotic, so they just come back to life. Holy shit. Whoa. This is pretty cool. Okay, wait. What else did I pick up? Um, Vanguard. Oh man, which one do I want to run though? Okay, there's nothing there. I think I still want the Centurion. These purifiers have joined our army, Hierarch. It seems they are willing to serve you for now. The purifiers. Adapt. Oh, adapts. Cool. Right, I'll give the dragoons a. Break and I'll run the adapts. I played these in beta. Got to try these units in beta. They're pretty cool. I 
I believe I have found a way to save our people. As Zeratul foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, the keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Omar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. The keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. To this device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan? It extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. And then it used that energy to release Amon from the Void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, we could use it to extract Amon from the Kala and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, Karax. We have a war to take to Amon. You were right all along, Hierarch. I am little more than a clone of your friend, Phoenix. The Calderim speaks truth. I am synthetic. A replication. A lie. What did you find in the Archive? My death. My rebirth as a Dragoon. And then, my death at the hands of this Queen of Blades. I am not Phoenix, yet I hold his memories as if they were my own. I must have time to consider this. You are a warrior, Phoenix. Whether you identify yourself as my old friend or not, know that I believe in you. And I believe you will help me destroy Amon's armies and save our people. Do not waver because of this knowledge. I will try, Hierarch. Don't have doubts, um, Phoenix. It's still great to have you with us. <laughs> um, so what is this one? Deploy... Oh, I can drop Phoenix. Attacks on his own and can cast Whirlwind, Thunderous Charge, and Shield Capacitors. Phoenix then leaves the battlefield up. 30 seconds? Jeez, okay. <laughs> Alarak. You must know Amon will destroy you. If you have such faith in him, why are you here? Yeah. Oh, I merely voice the inevitable. I know the true power of what you face. I said destroy you, not I. I have seen enough. His hubris will be his undoing. It is a flaw I also see in you. <laughs> I believe I like you, Hierarch. Your bravery is commendable. Join me then. Together, we can defeat him. I cannot tether my fate to yours. Hatred does not burn within you as it does in me. You do not see through the agony of knowing all you believed in is a lie, and that your only solace is found in the destruction of your betrayer. No. Amon corrupted my people, and now turns them into a hybrid abomination. My rage burns brighter than a thousand suns, and soon all will see my wrath unleashed! Then this is something I hope to witness. Interesting conversation. Alright, we'll just have a quick look at the map. Oh, War Council. A short time later. Okay, there's a little more stuff going on. The Void Portal within Ulnar has been sealed. But a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Kapulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet, but Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately. Eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we
we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergroods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Moby's core. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Kerax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. Okay. Alright. Um, <clears throat> we'll have a look at these. So, Endion. The Zelnaga are dead. Colossus. Salvation within Olnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. If we are to fight, we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon. But I have seen their potential in Phoenix, and know that this time, they will not fail us. Okay, and what about Slayin? Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. Okay, cool. So, we'll have to could sway the options. I think I want Colossus and then Void Race. Alright guys, I'm going to end festivities here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this run through Star Legacy of the Void. Um, to be honest, I have no idea how far we are in the game. I'm just going to keep playing because I'm enjoying it and it's a lot of fun. Anyway, <clears throat> thanks for watching guys. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next videos. See ya.